On August 8, 2015, the Pueblo Weisbrod Aircraft Museum welcomed its first major acquisition in nearly a decade and its first enemy aircraft exhibit. Two Soviet Bloc MiG fighters from the aircraft boneyard in Tucson, Arizona, a MiG-15 and MiG-17. The planes will be stripped down to the metal and restored, all while on display at the museum, which depends on volunteer and donor support. These guys are the hardest workers, and you know, they do it all in their own time, all in their own dime. Uh, they give their all, whole heart, soul, and everything into making these worthwhile for the public to come and see. These planes took a little bit to get here. Um, it's been a three and a half year struggle to get them here. We've had <laughs> setback after setback after setback. We were gonna have them here three years ago and they had to pull them back because of radiation in the cockpits. Uh, and just innumerable setbacks. But finally, we, we came through um, the trucking company really stepped up and gave us a good price. The people at AMAR really worked with us. That's where they're from, is Davis Monta, which is the boneyard, which is where these planes came out of. Um, they stepped up and helped out on the price for demilling and so on. That's why when we say, you know, you, you people are what keeps us running, it, it's not just a statement, because without you, we don't have the money to go do this. Um, every single penny counts. It costs money to actually get these out of the boneyard. We don't just go there and say, hey, we want an airplane and they give it to us. It actually costs us money to load them, to get them demilled, and then to transport them. So that's why it's such a heartfelt thank you from us to you for every penny you drop in that donation box and every time you walk through the door and pay your way, it, it just, you don't know how much that actually means to us. It, 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 it's the whole difference. So enjoy the museum. Come back here in about, oh, probably two years, and we'll have these things looking cherry.